Hey guys, it is Saturday. It is Kids Club Day. And I am so excited to get to share the message with you that we are doing tonight at Kids Club. Now this one has gotten posted a little bit late tonight because it's not getting posted until after we were done with it here at Kids Club. So I'm sorry for those of you that are um, people who watch it at home and you didn't get to see this one earlier today. So I'm sorry that you guys didn't get this one quite early enough, early, but it's still here for you. And that is the beauty of YouTube. It's here all the time. And you're able to share this one with other people or you're able to come back to it. So I am here to talk about what we're talking about at Kids Club tonight. And we are talking about Mother's Day. So tomorrow is Mother's Day. And that is a day that we honor the special women in our lives who have taken care of us. So for some of us, that's our mom. And for some of us, that might be an aunt, a grandma, or some other special lady who loves you very much. And sometimes there's reasons that we can't be with our mom on Mother's Day, but all of us have a mom or a woman who is taking great care of us and loves us much. But did you know that the Bible also teaches us about moms and about mothers and parents? Not all mothers love God, though, but those who do try their best to teach their children about God and have a very special place in his heart. In fact, God made a promise to the children who love and honor their mother and father. The Bible says, honor your mother and father, and then you will live a long life full life in the land the Lord your God is giving you. He says that in the book of Exodus in chapter 20. But God also has some very strong words for us parents too in the book of Ephesians when he says, fathers, I'm going to say parents, do not provoke your children to anger, but instead bring them up in discipline, which means teaching you to be safe and an in instruction of the Lord. So that means that we're going to protect you and teach you right from wrong, but most importantly, to bring you up with God. So back to those moms and those very prepared ladies in your life. Do they carry a purse or a big old bag like me? Most moms or ladies carry a great big purse like the one that you see me with most Sundays, right? So let's pretend that this is like my every time purse. And you might be surprised what folks have inside. Maybe, maybe there is a wallet because a mom or a woman of God needs to always be prepared for a financial emergency. And maybe, maybe there is a flashlight and mine happens to be on my phone because it's not unusual for the electricity to go off and leave you in the dark. And you always need tissues for those times when you have a runny nose or to wipe away a tear. And I always have candy or candy or gum so that there's something sweet to encourage you when you're down in the dumps. And a comb or a hairbrush so that you can be looking your best. But the most important thing for a mom or a woman of God is to have a Bible nearby, whether it's in her purse or on her phone, so that she can have a reliable guide to help her to keep her children on the right path. Now, isn't that a neat thing about moms and women of God? That was from an object lesson by Mimi Bullock for moms, and I just thought that was a neat thing to share with you guys. And I just wanted to share that about moms and thinking about that because moms always need to be prepared because they need to be able to be ready to take care of you, right? And those moms or aunts, or grandmas, or special ladies that are prepared to take care of you also love you a lot. Do you remember when you were little, the old saying of, I love you this much, and you'd stretch out your arms really, really far, and you can't see, but I'm stretching out my arms all the way. And you would maybe say back, well, I love you this much. And you would try to see whose arms stretch out the furthest, right? And 
Moms do, right? Or the special lady in your life, they do why? Because they're older, right? Well, guess what? Moms, special ladies, even dads, they're not perfect. Nobody can love us as much as someone else. Moms aren't perfect, even though they love you a whole lot. And moms or special ladies in your life do a whole lot to show you how much they love you. Let's think of some things that they do. They make you breakfast. They um, wash your clothes. Maybe they help clean your room. Maybe they help with your homework. Maybe they listen when you're sad. Maybe they um, buy you special things. Maybe they just play a special game with you. Those are all things that they do to show you that they love you. You know something else they do? They correct you when you're wrong. They try to teach you right from wrong. Those are all things they do when they love you. Can you think of somebody else, though, who loves you more than that? Who loves you more than that? Think about it. There's somebody who loves you more than than the special ladies. Some of you are thinking dad, and I know dads are pretty awesome. I'm a daddy's girl myself. Dads are pretty awesome, and they love us a lot. But I'm thinking of a different dad. I am thinking of God the Father. God loves us more. Can you believe that? God loves us more than our moms or those special ladies in our life. God loves us more than even our dads or those special guys in our life. Can you believe that? And how can we know how much God loves us? How can we know when we can't even see him? How do we know how much God loves us? Well, one way that we know is because God gave us those special ladies. He gave us those moms, those aunts, those grandmas, and those other special ladies in our life. And when these ladies do something loving and kind for you, that's God doing it too. God is especially glad to have made all of these women to care for us. Because while we're here on earth, it is, it is giving him a way to show his love for you. But I just said that God's love is bigger. So let's think about this. Think about if we would turn out the lights and think of a shadow. And think about the shadow on the wall. And I'm going to think about turning out the lights. And if I turn on a flashlight and think about a shadow, think about it. Jesus says, I am the light of the world. Often in the Bible, God and Jesus are referred to as the light because they shed light and they help to create the shadow on us moms. On They shed lights on their subjects or or us moms or the special ladies with their divine wisdom. They light up our hearts. And when we accept Jesus as our savior, they light the way. When we need to know how to get through a scary situation, they also shine on moms so they feel their love for us. Now, I just want to tell you one more thing. God's love might seem like a shadow here on earth, but it's very real here in heaven. And someday we'll get to see more than a shadow and we won't have to experience it through another loving person. Someday, when we, if we have Jesus in our heart and we have chosen to accept him as our savior, someday we'll get to see the hugeness of God's love face to face. Boys and girls, grown-ups, young and old, I am waiting for that day. I cannot wait for that day that I can see Jesus's love and God's love face to face. There's a song that I want you to look up on YouTube called I Can Only Imagine. I can only imagine what that day is going to be like. And in the meantime, until we get to see God's love face to face, I want you to thank the special ladies in your life today and tomorrow on Mother's Day for loving you enough to bring you to church because she knows you need God and bringing you to learn more about him in one of the most is because it's one of the most loving and caring things she can do. And this message is um, brought to you from me and I've done some of my research on the internet from a couple places and I'll put the links for those on the, on, in the, in the captions. 
I miss you guys and I love you all. And I can't wait to see those of you that were not able to be here tonight very soon. Bye.